completely surrender one's will to God, that means whatever happens in the future, happens in the future. Don't worry about the mind going silent, leaving you stranded. That's everybody. I get letters from like that all the time. I'm meditating and my mind stops, and that scares me, because how will I survive? Well, maybe you won't. <laughs> I don't know what she wants to survive for. She's all the way home. I mean, why not just be there? What about the kids? Let God worry about the kids. Let the world worry about the kids. Yes, this week one came that way. We said, let God worry about the kids. If you bliss out, you bliss out. You bliss out. Somebody blisses out, you sit them down, you put a tin cup next to them, and people walk by. <laughs> Your mother-in-law comes and gets the cups, <laughs> empties it every hour. So we let go of wanting to change the past, and we let go of wanting to control the future. And that's done at a profound depth. One realizes that, that you are safe. Not because it says so in a book, but because you realize that. As I stand here, you don't see any past hanging off of me. Do you see any past anywhere? I don't see any past. <laughs> when is a karmic product at this moment? That which stands here is where evolution is at this moment. Okay. So, the present is the finish of the past. With spiritual realization, which is which you, which you come by through contemplation. It's really a contemplative matter. As you walk about, you say, who am I to myself anyway? Who am I to the world? What am I to life? What is my relationship to life? You begin to, when you reverence all that is beautiful, when you reverence all that is divine by virtue of its existence, then you walk about in, in a different state. Out of that state arises a conviction of safety. The mind will start up periodically when it, when it needs to tell you something. Not because it's coming from the mind, but because it's coming from the spirit. If you need to know something, the spirit will see to it that you remember to take your vitamins. The ego, it takes credit for it. But it's really the spirit acting through your wife. They remind you. <laughs> Who sees to it that you eat and all those things? She has a big thing about eating, I don't know. <laughs> Every few days, I suppose. <laughs> because people are concerned about the body, and I'm not, you know, if you're not concerned about the body, other people worry about it. So, if you need to eat something, somebody will tell you that. So you don't have to think about when will I eat next or where am I going to eat next, because it's all handled. It's all handled. It's all handled by the nature of life. So I want everybody here to feel profoundly safe. You're safe from your past. Is there anybody here who lacks a decent regret for the past? I hope them. Anybody? Anybody who doesn't have a decent regret for the past? We just confirmed that that's all you need. You don't have to invoke God's mercy, right? You don't have to invoke the mercy of an electrostatic condenser. When you put a charge, it crackles. When there is no charge, it doesn't crackle. You don't say, oh dear, electrostatic condenser. <laughs> Give me the present of thy presence. 
The past is over.